Back at it again, back at it again. Can't stop, won't stop. Zone 9 life. Hey, thanks again for tuning in with your boy, man. Coach J, Motivated Moments. Stay tuned. Let me show you what I have on my sleeves today. Appreciate y'all. Come on. Let's, let's get it. All right, Long Locos. Hey, man. Uh, it's about that time where uh, where I stop seeding fescue in my doggy spots. Like, you know, it, March. We've had a record, record heat in March. We had three weeks of 88, 87, 86, 80 degree weather in March. Okay. Uh, we're about to close out March here, head into April. So uh, there's no way I'm going to seed fescue into the doggy spots so what i'm going to do is i got some uh some zoysia plugs and i got the pro plugger so what i'm gonna start doing now because spring and summer is just too god awful hot for me to be seeding fescue here in florida so i'm gonna start switching over to to side side plugs to help it out now also what i'm gonna give you this is my first time okay this is my first time guys I know my shadows in the way. I hope you can see that. This is my first time. Let me change it up. Strike in the backyard. I'm gonna use this Ryobi so I can uh, lower the cut just a tad bit and then suck up the grass clippers with the bagger so uh, I'll be able to see the canopy down in there to get those doggy spots. Because right now I'm keeping it real tall. You know, I, I mask the doggy spots with my height of cut. Okay, so stay tuned, man. Let me pull out the Ryobi with the big lead stripper. I got a big lead stripper. Where them dollars at? Where them dollars at? I say she's a big lead stripper. I got a big lead stripper. Where them dollars at? Where them dollars at? Where them dollars at? She's a big league stripper. Oh, 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 All right, Long Locos. First time, let's walk it real quick. I know the sun is not in my favor, but it's okay. Uh, just cut it, bagged it, exposed some of the doggy spots. You can't really see them from up top. But when I go down to, to the bottom and look up, you can see them a little better. Here on the side, you can see some. But some of them, I just raked out the dead, and I wouldn't need a sod pod. Like, for example, these. This one right here. All I did was I took the rake and just detached it, raked out the dead. I'm not gonna put one there or there yet. To see when you back off, it's not that noticeable. But only these big ones that are noticeable. One, I have 16. So I think I have enough to put a dent in some of these spots here. I know I need one here. I'm gonna need probably two. Look at this big daddy here. May need two there, but 
but now you can see when you look back up. But you still can't see uh, that many of them because I'm keeping it high. Last year when I real mold, obviously it was a manual one, but I real mold this entire thing, okay? Fescue, I real mold this entire thing until like, I wanna say it was like April or May when I put the reel away and I let it get tall. But before then you can see all the doggy spots. You really can't see them that bad. But they're there. They are there. You have to really get up on them. Ugh. Battery doesn't pick up all this debris like I would like. But that's it, guys. Just want to show you all a little cut. Doggy spots in Doggyville. Really not that bad. But it is noticeable. It is noticeable. Yes, I had to put another strip there for Doggyville. I just did that yesterday or the day before. You know, yesterday. But once you water it, it'll... It'll, you know, revive, come back to life. That's just how the sod is. But, you know, that's the doggy spot, man. She comes to this corner right here and tears it up every time. Every time. But the strip is holding up. You can see the traffic, but that Zorgia uh, <laughs> handles traffic real well. I don't know if you can see it, but it's really defined. <laughs> doggy strip. That is ridiculous. <laughs> All right, man, but I don't know if I'm going to have enough time for, for the light. But uh, let's see if we can start knocking out some of these doggy spots. If not, I can take care of it tomorrow morning. I don't feel like it. But that's next on the menu. Here she is. There's Doggyville. I right hear now. Let's see Snoop Doggy Doggy. Let's go see her real quick. Let's go see her. Okay, look at it. Don't come out. Come on. Come on. There she is. Snoop Doggy Doggy. Say what's up to the good people. Yeah, daddy got out, got me out here working with all these doggy spots and things. But I don't give Doggyville no love. But she's doing well, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Let's go get this plugger in these sides. Hey, Doggyville. Hey, Belafonte. Say what's up to the people. Hey, Belafonte. Hey. Hey. All right, Long Locos. Uh, real quick, I'm going to show you, show you how easy it is. Okay, you see that? See the doggy spot? Okay. Clear it out some. Now, do do I need to fill this entire spot? No. Remember, I have what I think is a cross between uh, Kentucky bluegrass and fescue and this zoysia. That's what I believe it is. Uh, it will spread throughout this doggy spot. All I need to do is just put a, get a little hole right here, bong, 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 <laughs> and, just, and just put it right here, and it will do the rest. All right? Let's check it out. My first time using this pro, this pro plugger, too. I've used similar devices, but not the pro plugger. I'm just going to go right smack dab in the middle. All I need is one. Put a little pressure on that thing, thing. And they say do a few overlapping holes with the pro plugger to fulfill like you see a square to make that little square okay now I'm gonna take said said plug oh I love this oh I love this Asia. oh I love you and it's growing together which is what it does it spreads look at those look at those roots okay the reason why I say it's a hybrid between bluegrass and fescue, because not only does it spread through stolons on top, okay, stolons on top, but it also spreads through rhizomes underground, which is what bluegrass does on top, stolons and rhizomes, and then fescues spread through uh, rhizomes, all these lateral spread fescues. Now I'm gonna do is just gonna. Just break that up just a tad bit, just so it can say, hey, I can go this way now. I can spread this way now. I can go this way now. Hey, I can go this way now. I can go this way now, but I'm not trying to do it too much where I'm tearing it up. But look at there, bong bong. Bong bong. And if I need extra dirt, take some out of the plugger, stick it around there. Be nice if I had some uh, some uh, 
either some uh, peat moss or some sand or something. Okay, but that's one down, guys, and a whole lot more to go. Just wanted to show you the example on that one. And look how it looks. Watch this. If I put it right in there, <laughs> it looks just like fescue, doesn't it? But remember, when I planted this, I planted uh, fescue and zoysia at the same time. So there is zoysia in this backyard. But look at that. Bong, bong. Can't even tell. It looks just like it. All right, let's finish this chomping. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Coach J, Motivated Moments. All right, long locals. That is it, man. That is it. That is it. Just a bunch of plugs. Bunch of plugs in these doggy spots. Yeah, there, there's one in there. <laughs> it's got it covered up with that soil. I didn't get all of them, but I got the main ones, the big ones. See, you can't even really tell. It's in there, but it's in there. There's the it's in there, but it's gonna spread and grow out. See, there's one in there. I just gotta cover it with the dirt. Let the rain and in, in the uh, irrigation naturally wash wash off that water, and then it'll settle where it wants to settle, like in the root zone or what have you. But now I gotta find them. There's a bunch of them in here. There's one. Bong bong. Uh, see, some of them are filling in on their own. I don't need to, I don't need to, see I can't even follow them. I don't need to use any. I already showed these ones, but long, one there, one right here, uh, this one right here. Like I said guys, to me, now this is, this is just to me now. Yeah, I forgot there's some down here. I think, get my shot out of the way, I think Zoysia, it's just the, the son or daughter. It's just the, what do you call it, offspring of fescue and bluegrass to me. That, that's just, that's just my thinking. That's just my thinking. Oh, while we're here, man, shout out to Zoysia Flu, man. Trying to train it at one inch. See, still trying to clean it up back, back there for the wreck area. I don't know if I want grass or not, man. Can't make up my mind. Can't make up my mind. But that's it, man. I'm trying to find some more spots. That's not one. That's it, guys. There's one. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Coach J. Motivated moments. Appreciate y'all rocking with your boy, man. Till next time. God bless. Doggyville. Shout out Doggyville, man. Don't get Doggyville no love. Shout out Doggyville.